everyone, this is Rachel, and I'm here with another process video. Now, instead of doing a sketch for Get Sketchy with Christy and Rachel, we're lifting this layout from Elena Grinchuk from Fancy Pants Design Team. And I am going to be working with my March Scraptastic kit alongside my counterfeit add-on kit. Now, I am working with these two vertical 3x4 photos, which is nothing like the tinier photos that is from the layout I am lifting, but you're going to get the same effect in the end. So I'm starting off by building layers behind my photos. I grabbed one of those Scraptastic uh, exclusive pieces and then layered that over, uh, layered that over, layered that under my photos, over my photos. Having paper layered over my photos would be an interesting uh, way to scrapbook. So before I add that gray piece, I'm trying to decide if I want to add this minty green that is from basic gray, and I decide I do want that. And I'm not going for super formal background pieces. I'm okay if it's not quite long enough or it's kind of crooked and stuff like that. I'm usually pretty stringent about my layers, but this time it just didn't seem to bother me to kind of go all loosey-goosey. So I get that all laid down, and I'm trying to figure out what to do with this gray paper that has a small polka dot, and that is also from the typeset collection from Basic Gray. Now, I'm going to be using this Aqua E cardstock, and in the original layout, they had the word love on either side of the photo clusters, so I'm using these much larger letters from Studio Calico, and I'm going to spell out the word ride because that's what my layout is about. And now what I'm just doing is I want to use this diagonal stripe across my layout as a long stripe that is the same as in the original. Now, in the original, I'm pretty sure she sewed her lines down. I don't sew. Like, ever. <laughs> Not even paper. <laughs> Uh, I was asked by my 7th grade home economics teacher to concentrate on my hand stitching after I'm pretty sure I broke two or three of her machines. I don't do it on purpose. I am not a destructive person. It was just, for some reason, I could not get on a sewing machine without completely destroying it. Okay, moving on to the actual layout. I choose three papers I want to use for my stripes, and the green leaf paper is from the Amy Tangerine Better Together. The... Star paper is from Chamel's Starshine, and then that diagonal stripe paper is from the Basic Gray Typeset Collection. Now, before I look at this gray polka dot paper again from the Basic Gray, I decide to add that large polka dot paper, and that is from Jen Hadfield Everyday Line from Pebbles. Okay, mouthful there. Okie dokie. So that gray paper has those large floral pieces on the other side. And when I made my counterfeit kit video, I would mentioned I probably wouldn't use them. When I ended up seeing this layout to use as a lift, I saw those. I was like, oh my gosh, I could totally use those floral pieces. So if you look in the upper left-hand corner, I've already pre-cut all of those. So I also did grab a couple of floral pieces from the Maggie Holmes Confetti die cut pack. I don't tend to use florals a lot. It doesn't necessarily fit in with who I scrapbook. So I was excited to be able to use it in this instance. Now here's something that never happens to me. I usually lay things down and I'm pretty loosey-goosey about picking them back up, but I happened to love the way these flowers looked when I laid them down. So I'm actually kind of sitting here going, really, really, I had to love them? So I'm going to work very carefully to glue them down the way they are, and I cut a bunch of that out because it did take a while. So I put them up to dry, and I am going to add more glue at the end to help that out. So now I'm going to start working on my stripes, and I'm just using this ruler to make sure they're all at the same angle because it is a very, in the original layout, it is very structured, and I did very much like that. Luckily, with the photo being in the center, I'm able to use just one bit of the 12 by 12 rather than trying to cut multiple stripes. So I do edge all of my stripes in uh, the Heidi Swap ink pad in navy, and 
sorry, my words got away from me there. So I'm getting this Amy Tangerine piece down, and I put a little bit more glue on it than I should, and then I have to peel it off. But I'm very happy with the way that ends up. And now I'm going to go with that piece of diagonal stripe, and I'm super happy that it manages to fit all the way across, because that's really, I did not have a huge amount of that left, and I was afraid I wasn't going to be able to fit. I only had, I had this, these two pieces of paper, and then I had that, I have that one other piece of paper, and that's all I got. So I was super happy that I was going to be able to make it fit, and also make it fit in the center stripe, because one being all green and one being all blue, I wanted that center stripe to because it encompasses all the colors, that's what I wanted to have in the center, if that makes any sense to anyone. Okay, moving on. I finally get my last stripe down, and now I have a little blank spot, sorry, and I'm going to move on to be laying down the main photo block. And once again, I'm going to use my ruler to line this up because this is such a, such a central lined up layout, it was important to me to make sure that this was as straight as it could be. So once I get that, I'm just going to trim off all those little bits from the ends. And I'm at this point, after this, it's just a little bit of embellishment. I'm done. It, it took a little bit of time to get everything all lined up because of how it is. But after that, you know, it was just very simple with this large floral piece as the center of my layout. So I'm going to carefully glue down, and I know it doesn't look like I'm carefully gluing down, but I did speed this up to four times, and everything is getting my ATG except that one leaf piece, and that is from the confetti line. Because it's more on the delicate side, I didn't want to try to use my ATG on that. I was afraid I was going to rip it. Now I'm laying down my title, and that D has quite a bit of different colors underneath. So I back it with the diagonal stripe paper and then I do the same with the R just to bring it to both sides of the title so it's not just under the D, even though technically the R didn't really have anything under it. And I realize I put my letters over too far but I've already glued them down. So I fussy cut out just this little piece of floral paper on the edge just to kind of fill in that space over there so it doesn't look so Oh look, I made a big mistake with my spacing, if that makes any sense. I also pull out these glitter words from my stash. I pulled out quite a bit from this, from my stash, which I don't usually do, but I did not have the alphas that I needed in my stash. So I pull out the word love, which is kind of mimicking what the original artist did with her design with her word remember. Mine is just a little bolder. And then I also pulled out those little silver dots to go with it. And now I'm just embellishing. So I grab that Say Hello flare from the Basic Ray typeset that was part of my counterfeit collection. And now I'm grabbing some enamel dots to go along in my three. I don't really have any embellishment clusters, but I'm just trying, like I have it on over on one side of the title, over on the other side of the title, and then over by the the floral piece. I'm sorry, I couldn't think of the word floral for a second there. So I also grab a couple of hearts from the Amy Tangerine sticker book alongside with a little label sticker where I'm going to put my journaling. And I also added some shimmers colorings in a silver color. And my journaling, what this is about is my niece takes the ferrets up every night and she gives them a ride on her shoulders. This was several years ago when we first got them. And that's going to complete my layout. Please head on over to Christy's channel to check out her take on this lift. And have a great day, everyone. Bye!